okay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> kind of took me by surprise there. Hello, you lovely people. Hello. Welcome to one of our special edition. Oh, I like that. Spe- yeah, special. special edition. No, what do they call it? An Amazon exclusive. An exclusive, yeah. An ass WT exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's important to have uh, more in-depth conversations about things. We always want to hear your opinions and what you think, you know, we should be talking about, what mm-hmm. we should be sharing in our experiences. Um, but now you're going to listen to our opinions. Yeah. Basically, it's an opportunity to get to know us a little bit better and what we think. And I think one of the biggest things, uh, now that we have finished Pride season, uh, is what Pride means to... Us oh, nowadays. Mean, yeah. Well, what it means, but I guess also like what it's become. There's a lot of conversations that uh-huh. we've had with people. And yeah, I think it's a big topic. I think it's it's probably a topic that like most people who are part of the LGBT community will probably ask themselves at some point in the year when Pride comes around. Yeah, they'll have an opinion about it. Yeah. What was your, what was your first Pride? Oh, my, okay, my first Pride. Oh, God, what was my first Pride? I'm not sure I can remember mine. I think my first Pride was London Pride, and it was when I was in uni. Or was it Bristol Pride? It might have been Bristol Pride. I remember I was in uni, and I'd gone for the first time, and it was, like, an absolute, I think, like, anyone's first Pride. It's an absolute shock, because you don't quite realise, you kind of, even if you've been to, like, you know, gay clubs and stuff, you never quite realise the the vastness of a way in which a community that you've kind of always grown up knowing it's it's kind of been always a, maybe secretive or like on the down low suddenly is fully out there and it's every, all the people. yeah it's all there all the colours all over the spectrum of the rainbow and as the name goes everyone is very proud to be there and I remember mm. literally I think I was like. 2021 and i was just like which is quite late to be fair yeah um and it was i, ma- think, it was I think it was the same year as me then Do you think it was the, same, was the, it the first together? pride i remember is watching heather small in castle yeah Park. it was that yeah. it was that one in castle <laughs> Park. What, you, no, yeah, yeah oh it was so good yeah it, good. it must have been and it was yeah it was such a fun it was day. an absolute experience and i think after that it kind of you never, you always, you never really like go back after that because you're like, this is what this day is about or this is what this month is about. But then and... London Pride was like, because I think that was the second Pride that I did and that was on a different scale because that time I actually watched the, watched like floats come down and like even like on the way there passing people in the street who are also dressed up in all the colours and they're like, yeah. happy Pride and it's, it's such a warm, warm feeling of just acceptance and, you know, being around people who... Yeah. I think what's interesting is that I guess the feelings you get from like your first pride and just being in a space that everyone is enjoying everyone and and sharing that love is kind of the feelings I think all prides should be for everyone all the Mm. time. And I guess now, I mean, it's like what, near on 10 years now and we've been to several different prides and I'm sure a lot of people out there have. And you do kind of see what what pride is evolving into, and it's not necessarily, in my opinion, like the greatest thing. And I think London Pride in particular has been a really difficult thing to still enjoy years later because I feel like it's becoming something that isn't necessarily pride anymore. See, I almost think that, that London Pride is still the best one. Oh no, because because it all focuses on the parade winding its way through the heart of the city and then everyone goes to Soho afterwards and gets trashed and you know whereas all the other all the other prides in all the other cities they just have these big arenas which are basically it's just basically a music festival and that to me it doesn't feel as pridey it feels like a bunch of gays going to have a great time together but it doesn't feel like it feels more connected I'm here for a purpose I mean in my yeah. opinion like the way in which and I know this is going to sound like I've had these conversations tons of time the way in which London Pride nowadays is very much 
essentially like monetized by all these like big corporations mm. i i do question the sincerity of pride nowadays it's become something in which people just want to capitalize capitalize on, on and yeah. jump on the bandwagon shame. of it's and it's not great necessarily because i'm the kind of person who's like i want to ask those questions then okay well is that company doing it just because it's pride month and they want to capitalize on it or let's look at that company are they you know donating some of their money to lgbtq charities do they have initiatives mm. that help employ lgbtq um, staff you know all these questions and when it comes down to the fact that actually they they may not do any of that and they're just throwing money to jump on something and actually what they've done is they've taken a float space away from perhaps another lgbtq dedicated business or charity that could have had that space then that does raise alarm bells mm. and i think i don't think we're at the point in which pride is no longer a thing for us i think it still is but i think we need to i think it's really important to like hone in on the core values of pride because mm. nowadays it's becoming very much in my eyes it's becoming very separate and when i go back to brighton pride i don't know i i feel completely different i feel like it is much more of the kind of the original pride and oh, people Brighton's share yeah. yeah people that's just like share the those combination of yeah the absolutely yeah, yeah. and then that's what pride yeah, should be true. in my eyes it should be an experience in which you just you just get to to share that love and, and it's a celebration it isn't it yeah but I, but I do yeah I am very much like I'm, I'm not sure I necessarily want to see you know some bank basically yeah when in or about like a, a rainbows Nando's yeah program, when you know. exactly when in about you know a couple of days after that rainbow will come down and it will be like they never were a part of it they just mm. did it you know to do that so but i know a lot of people have like very differing opinions on this um but they're being called out quite a lot i think they are all corporations now in that respect which is a good thing i feel like maybe what's missing in terms of the way that I get involved in Pride is not having something to march for. I never really, I've never marched in a parade, you know, with a with a group. I've marched at the end of like tail end of one, which is fun. Oh, we went to Trans Pride. Where we we did, did. I we think that's a parade. really interesting topic. It's it's because I think like what are we marching for? Well, the thing is, we are arguably in quite privileged positions as to you know white gay men because we're probably the part of the LGBTQ community that has less too much for nowadays, mm. be because we don't, you know, it's, even though we're a community, it's important to recognize that there are parts of the community uh, where people of different ethnic minorities are still fighting for a lot more equality and people of transgender are still fighting for that, or even f just being female compared to being male or any other gender. Um, and so I think their experience of going to Pride probably is more like that. It is more like for them. A fight. It's a fight. And they probably still enjoy it, but when they show up, it's a moment to really speak, speak their truth and, and march. Like and for me that. and you, yeah. I guess we're very fortunate and privileged to be able to go to Pride and, and not necessarily feel like there's always, we, we have much to to march for i guess it is more of a let's celebrate and also we're going to pride in you know western countries that mm. already have a lot of liberal allowances for gay people allowances but <laughs> well, acceptance I mean, there we there's, go there's, that's there's the word a, there's still a load of issues that haven't been dealt with in this country. oh totally like, like the you know continued legality of conversion therapy as, as one example totally. i feel like maybe if we Maybe thought a bit more about what we were going to pride for before we actually, you know, bought the fucking mesh. No, I like, totally agree. Up, you know, it might be. But I think it would be. I it... feel like you're actually contributing towards that momentum still to to get equal. I think. Equal rights I think everyone. it's important to like when we go to pride to remember what other people in other countries are going to pride for mm. that are less. Or if you know, they're allowed to have pride or go to pride. Absolutely, know? it's it as much as we kind of you know. We go up to Pride every year and we're pretty much on the floor by the end well, of we it. We do. <laughs> and yeah, you're still tanning. I'm not, literally. Um, I think <laughs> I think you can get lost in it being just a day of getting drunk and having fun. And it is that, but it's still something to kind of 
there's a reason pride exists. But also, if you're not having fun, then there's no point. Like, totally. You need to just, like, use it as a moment to enjoy yourselves. There are people there for thousands of different reasons, and it's all mm. about being able to let everyone who's there have their own version of pride and their own way of enjoying it. And I think that's something that I still see as a really good value that we have. Mm. No one's going to pride to kind of put someone else down or tell them that's not how they should celebrate pride or or that's not what pride's about pride is pride is however you want to celebrate pride it's it's only experience good vibes yeah good vibes very rarely have i been well i don't think i've ever been to pride and kind of felt like someone else was was either unhappy or wanted you know wanted different things from other people who were there and i think that's what's really important is that mm. we all are proud in different ways it's still important to like remember remember why we do it and why not necessarily it's for it's great but it's not just something to make money off that's not pride that's not what oh god knows i spent a lot of money on brides i mean yeah you'll spend a lot i'm broke money. oh my god that is our little topic topic for today for today let us know what you think how do you celebrate pride do you enjoy it do you have opinions do you empty the bank are you broke uh, if you want us to talk about anything, then let us know. We can have a little chat like this one. and Absolutely. Yeah, we can discuss whatever you like. So let us know. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.